Hello and welcome everyone, Lahart here with part 26 of the Scotland Let's Play for Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming. So the Viking invasions are on their way. They haven't arrived yet. The Normans, we've been given word that they're sailing towards the south coast. Uh, and I'm actually wondering if they'll declare war on us, if they'll just focus on Wessex and their vassals and military allies to start with and then maybe later on uh, declare war on us. That is if they get past these factions in the south. I'm kind of hoping that Wessex and friends will deal with the Normans, but uh, they'll, uh, they'll take the longest to reach us if they do, so we won't worry about them just yet. If memory serves, and from what you guys said in the comment section of the previous video, uh, we should expect the Danes to arrive around this area off the coast of Bebenburg and then the Norse invaders will come from over here. So we're going to leave uh, Riggan's Wrath to defend Borness for now. Uh, there is a reasonable garrison there, so um, we'll leave that in place for now. I could destroy the craft trader and try and put the patrols building in there, but uh, honestly don't know if we'll get a chance to do that before they arrive. I mean, our income's pretty good right now. I'm, yeah, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk that. Seeing as those are the points where the invaders should come from, we can now move this army. So I'm going to bring this one down to help out our king uh, as close to Bebenberg as possible. I'm not sure we'll actually get there before they start showing on up. Because I think it will be in the next few turns they will arrive, and it's not. I think they can probably make it over to Bebenburt in one turn. Um, there is no garrison here. Uh, well, there's no patrols building, I should say. Obviously, there's a garrison, as we can see here, but there's no patrols building. So we'll just have to deal with what they've got there. I mean, we could throw in some. Uh, raise another army there, but we are currently at. Um, negative food, a food shortage, which isn't necessarily a massive problem. We'll only start taking attrition if we are in territory that doesn't have enough stockpiled, as it were. So while globally that will start having an impact on the amount we can replenish, it's on a province by province basis as to whether or not we take attrition. The province has to be in negative um, food production us to take attrition there so these guys would here i'm there is an army outside but we do have the patrol building here which i am going to set to upgrade but we want to make sure we hold on to this port because that brings us in even more food in fact uh set that to upgrade because i plan on holding on to this as many of you said lionheart you're gonna have to push back against ireland with these armies uh just to keep food levels up so that is what we're going to do we're going to move on out here and take that settlement which will give us more food that's fine i think we've got a couple of places upgrading their food so i don't think i'll disband any units just yet we should be fine with what we've got we will upgrade all the souterrain buildings that we can though because they give us the sort of single biggest hit um, of extra food production that I can see around. Salt pans do as well. That one's about to upgrade, so yeah, next time we'll get some more food from there. Get some in there as well, 42, so yeah, we should be fine next turn, so let's not disband anyone. We obviously have our army at Manchester uh, that's holding. We can see Powys is gathering forces. I think they're just going to have to hold here. I mean, we, we could bring them up towards Bimber, but it's quite a way. I think the Danes are going to do the the biggest chunk of damage because they're going to have free reign over here for the most part. We are building that up here. Carlisle, yeah, probably. Trolls would be nice. Let's throw that in here, try and stop them. We can always raise some troops and move on up. Don't really want to change things at Efferwick. Um, we could put patrols in here. Might be worth it if powers break through. We can't afford the market cross right now, so that's all good. Obviously, we could increase taxes, but I don't want to risk rebellions as well. So, I think that's all we can do for now. Let's end the turn and brace ourselves for invasion. 
Also, I want to look at my bonus objectives, or my missions, rather, I should say, for the Stone of Destiny. I know I've not looked at that for a while. One, two of you have reminded me and said, hey, Lionheart, maybe you should check that out, see what the uh, mission is for that right now. Mead's pulling back. I mean, that's fine. If we just ha constantly have to sort of push out and then fall back, then smash their armies, then push back again, that's what we'll, that's what we'll do. Aiden. I'm oh, moving on in. Okay, our army that we've pulled from central Scotland, we'll have to throw them at them. A huge Dane invasion fleet has arrived in the northeast of Britannia. Here they are. The Danes have come. Uh, yep, off the coast of Bemba. Can't really do anything about that. Our food is up, though. That's good. We have plenty of things built. And we demolish the craft trader. There. Four turns in you go. I wish we had that decree. Or We've got ten turns. Oh, actually, that's a good one. Army supplied. It'll give us even more food. So I might pop that if we lose a load of territory to give ourselves some extra food. We'll hold on to it for now. You guys just stay there. Now that army is over there by the giant's causeway. Um, assuming they're going to try and get into the water. They look like kind of trapped. That's a pottery workshop. And that's over that territory. I'm time just to leave that for now. Yeah, let's go after these guys up here. I think they're probably trapped, so they can't seemingly move that far. That's good. I'm going to push. They've pulled their army back here. Can they reach? No. And there's no force march, so they can only hit us with one army. This is a reasonable force, so let's move in here and strike, because that's an abbey and a farm. Even more food. Good. I won't upgrade it, though, because we'll probably end up losing it. This one... More food production to convert. That guy takes ages. We'll upgrade all of these, though. That's at the cost of food production, so we won't do that. Skills. I just haven't made them move yet, but... They are gathering more armies. At least we should hope, if they push through to siege... At least we should have some finally epic big old sieges. That would be good. Four turns. I'm not sure we'll quite get that, but we'll, we'll see. Getting that. You've got that one building there. Not doing anything at Carlisle. Bebember. No, you're about to get jumped on. I guess that begs the question of where should we send the king? Because we don't want to send him out on his own. He needs support against all those Danes. These guys are moving in here. Um, move you guys down. We'll have to keep an eye on where these guys land. Because they're going to cause a lot of problems. I guess we'll wait at um, Edinburgh for now. With Corsantin, the mad king of the Scots. We need both armies together to stand a chance. If we get jumped on by three Dane armies, we'll probably be saying goodbye to, uh, to the king. But at least we can try and take down as many of them as possible. Upgrade that two turns. Lovely. More food production. Sea train buildings are saving my ass. Alright, so just the Norse to come in over here. And I think that's everything we can possibly do. So, see what the Danes do. Mercy are moving on in. Are they at war with the Dane law, I think? I should probably check that, actually. See what they're doing. They're moving in towards door. Mead pulling back. That's good. And they're pulling their army in towards Ard Stratha. Okay, we'll pull our army back to deal with them. It's back to our turn. Powys moving on in towards Manchester. No surprise there. Okay, they're moving up towards our port. And here the Danes come. Striking Bebenbur. I'll make them go any faster. Taking 
Garum. And they're bringing in 18 stack as well. And they're attacking. Well, we are not going to be able to hold against all of them. But I wonder if we'd maybe kill a few more of them than the order resolve. Let's face the Viking horde and see how we do. Obviously, it's going to end in defeat. But... Let's see if we can't take a few of them down with us. Looks like a cool map, though. I don't think I've ever fought on this one. Looks like there's a massive beach within our deployment zone. Nice. Raining. Okay. Wow, yeah, look at that. Massive beach deployment zone, and they have to climb on up here. This bit's open. They've got a couple of scouts down there. I assume it's still just cavalry. We've got some reinforcements over here, but I imagine it's just the cavalry from the second army reinforcing. Let's pop a barricade here and pop javelins there. And archers on this section. Bowman! Firing there, that's good. Um, we can hold them down here for a while with our spears. That'd potentially be good. And the tower can fire at them. Our general's also a spear unit, but I'm thinking I might just start him off down here and then pull him up. This way he'll uh, be able to see off that cavalry should they break through. Um, barricade, let's put one there, and no one's going to come from behind there, so over there? Cool, we still got that one there, good. Um, axes, let's pop you guys like so. Fortunately, we don't have shield wall or shield castle on any of our units here. The rest of them like so, and then... Maybe we'll pull the spears back at a certain point and have them just blast them. Let's begin. Wait for those reinforcements to come on in. Speed it. Yeah, all those ships. Sailing on in. 4,000 odd. Yes, yeah, so they've got more cavalry coming. Oh, they have decided to send their cavalry towards the gate. You fools. We've got them Not sure how much damage they can do. They're doing a fair amount. At least they do make it through. Let's have you guys the other side. At least we'll kill off some of their cavalry this way. Where are they sending these guys? Are they bringing them round? It's the only gate, isn't it? Yeah, that's where they'll move in for. That's fine. I'm going to land with all their... Units over here. Good. Oh, it's getting a bit chuggy. Oh, come on, game. You can deal with this many units on the field at once. He just started chugging. Maybe it's the number of ships all docking. Maybe once that's done, it'll be all right. See off this cavalry here. It's actually going to send them out of the gates. It is. No, pull back. Yeah, much lag. Burn them all, though. Burn them all. Oh, there we go. It's it's getting there. I, th I think it might be something to do with the docking process. Potentially. Straining. Because it's not exactly... It's more like... Stutter. 
and all their animations being kind of chugged on down. Charge on out and break them. They've got cavalry here. If they charge spears, they'll be in for a bad time. So just slaughter these guys. Oh, there we go. Right, suddenly... Oh, there we go. Now we're all good. Okay, pull back in. Okay, you've been doused in oil. Not good. Don't hold back. Must be something to do with the ships. So hopefully, it will run smoother in a moment. Let's close the gate. Scouts are moving on round. There's nowhere else they can go here. They can run up here, but they'll come to another gate as well. If they choose to do that, we'll have time to pull my general up. We'll speed it for a little bit. Come on, attack the gate. Looks like they're going to go over there. No, they went close enough for the oil to come on down. Okay. With all your speed, General, pull back. Still got more ships to land. Thankfully, they're moving up. They've not sort of gathered their full strength together and then pushed on up. They're going up one by one. That's good. Yeah, they're pulling their cavalry around this way. I don't think we need to worry too much. We'll see. I think what I'll do is I'll briefly cut the, vo uh, the video forward till they're at us here, or it's slightly less laggy, hopefully, once all the ships have docked. Be right back. Well, it's still being laggy, but not all the ships have gone yet. We have all landed now, but the enemy has made their way to us with their first few units. Archers and javelins are going straight for my spears, my skiltrum. Hoping that once more of these ships go off map, it'll be okay. I tried lowering my graphic settings as well, but has no effect, it would seem. I think it's something to do with the game not handling all the unit models properly. But it's the same result, even if I have all my settings on low. My FPS is still pretty high, so it's more it feels more like engine lag stutter. Which is a shame, because this would have been a really cool battle to fight fluidly. Once they lose a couple of units, we'll be okay. We're destroying those javelins with our archers. A little bit annoying that a lot of my early ammo is going on them, but hey, I guess we can't complain if we take out some troops, we take out some troops. I have pulled, as you can see, a unit of Axemen over here, because... Um, wasn't sure whether or not these guys would make it through or not. No, just as insurance. General's still making his way back from over here. Right, they've lost their javelins. They do have archers back here. I'm just going to try and focus on the mailed huskars, though. Got to fire on these guys again. It's not the ships then, because enough of them have gone off map now. Make a difference. That must be just the number of units on the field, but 
Got 6,000. Oh. Starting to run a bit more fluidly. Those javelins have gone. Are we taking any of these guys down? Not particularly. Better just to focus on the uh, archers over there. And are these guys actually able to fire that well? Or do I need to turn them around? And they might be more effective. If I pulled them back here. Let's do that. Let's have a check on the cavalry. So they're actually starting to capture it. Somehow. Let's move these guys down a bit. Prevent them from capturing it. Oh, here we go. It ran smoothly for like a second. Hope is kindled. There's only 18 of them left, so that's fine. That we can pull the axemen back. Oh, there we go. Nice and smooth. Maybe we were just over the limit <laughs> of what the game would take. That's fine then. At least we can enjoy it now. That's better. Archers, why didn't you obey my command? Come on. They bugged. I don't see we're doing much damage to those archers. Might just be better to fire on down here. Ole! I mean, they have lost 400 nearly. Fire at them right in the middle here. That's a nice little gap. I'll tell you guys, shuffle them round. Clearly, there's a lovely little bug there. Oh, they've properly bugged out now. They won't take an attack order or anything. No, they are locked in there. Oh, this is turning out to be an excellent battle. <laughs> GG Archer unit. GG. They're still going, are they? Attack. Kill the ball. Get Maggie again. I said push them into the burning oil. Right, no, 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 don't follow, don't follow, don't follow. That's it. Right, you guys get back up over here. Just keep on firing. The general has made it as well. 
we'll speed it a bit more though, because we don't want the whole episode just being this uh, laggy, buggy battle. Just hold them there at the tower, take more shots. Oh, they broke it through. Ready for war. We're under fire. Making ready. This one's still holding. Ole! Nice javelins, nice. Swordsman. Yours the command. Hit the great axes. Our men have rallied. Enemies beware. Spearmen. There's an awful lot of them. Swordsman. Don't hold back. Levyman. He's got to push on up. Oh, that's it, javelins. Yes. Wreck him good. Battle awaits us. Send a battle. I don't want to have a withdraw button, because obviously we're in a siege, so I can't do anything about them. Well, at least we could tell them to turn around and fire. That's annoying. Not that it would have made, made us uh, win, but... Could have got a few more kills. Goes are out of ammo. Don't hold back. The barricades are under attack. Run the rear. Awaiting orders. Run the double. Annihilate them. Kill as many of them as you can. End up taking out about a thousand of them. Happy, happy days. Chop their heads off. We'll get through this barricade quick. Yep. Brace. Hold. Hold the square. Kill as many Danes as you can. Taking out a thousand, we've lost six hundred. Sword should get plenty of kills. We can triple speed it now, just see how many of them we wear down. We can get them down to three thousand or just under. Happy. Obviously, they have what another six or seven armies that are just ready to sail on in. Yeah, 
Every kill counts, though. Every kill counts. Right. We're at half strength. We're gonna route soon. Oh, no, they've just broken. Nice. Push them back. That unit's just gone. I'm hoping we could clear through here to rear charge these guys, but... No, there's the break. Unless they decide not to attack these archers, maybe because they're so bugged. I'll have to quit the battle then, if that's the case, if they don't break. These guys are holding over here. Still holding and fighting there. They are whittling away at my sharpshooters, though. That unit's broken. Oh, got them to 3,096. Dream is still alive. I don't think we'll kill another 90-odd, though. That's, that's not bad. Actually, if we can get them to 70, then it'll be 1,400 would have killed. Men are still holding, though. Uh, Archers are starting to think about breaking now. Yeah, there we go, finally. You boogers. The waves claim us. Could have got a few more kills if you guys hadn't bugged out. We did well, though. We did well. Lost 1,346 total. I'll take it. I'll take it. Cavalry's... I don't think we've killed the whole unit. Maybe that unit over there. That great axes? No, don't even tell me. Their cavalry's still got enough troops to survive. Oh no, that one's gone. And mailed huskarls. Okay. Killed the cavalry off there as well. Oh, that's good. That's good at least. Edinburgh has fallen. But not without inflicting a wound upon the Danes. Okay, these random Vikings. They're sailing towards us. So, yeah, Danes at war. Good. Uh, right, before I forget. Mission, yes, Stone Destiny. Oh, Castletown, yes, because we're at war with uh, Gwyneth right now. I think I might have to wait, though, until we've dealt with these... Uh, Our bravery is legendary. These Vikings, these Danes. No. So that port is under threat from this 13 stack. But I think we need to take these guys out yeah, while we can corner them. Go aggressive and slay them. That's what we can do. Okay, we've got back in here. I think from here we can sail on down. Reclaim that. So we'll take that. Can't strike that army, so we'll just move back here to protect. It's fine. You guys hold on to this. I won't bother upgrading anything. Although our incomes are rather nice. Because we've lost forces, I guess. Uh, powers, 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 powers. No. No if we I sally on out to you... Break that first army, but the reinforcement... That's a lot of cavalry. better to do that rather than waiting for them to gather more troops together. I mean, we, we could attack this someone and then retreat, but I think we'd then end up... It would cancel loss, so our army would be ejected too far back. I kind of wish you could do that, though, just take out portions and then withdraw. Maybe you can. I've just never really tried it. Well, swordsmen are comparing their stats. And they do have level 3 armor and level 3 weapons. Got a unit of longbows. Got two catapults. Do have Royal Ichella though. Which will beat my cavalry. I think we have to pull back. And get back on in here. 
for now. Research available. What did we just finish researching? Royal Cavalry. Right. I wasn't going to go for that because that would cost more food. Um, actually, Prestige. Plus one f uh, unit food upkeep faction Y. That's not ideal. Okay, so that lets me get armor defensive better. Sword warriors instead of sword band. Axemen instead of the levy. None shall stand against us. They've changed the names or they've changed the upgrades. I think I've already got yeah, I've already got the Axemen. I think it's because of the oh yeah, an album warriors place sword warriors. It's because of the steel and statecraft update. I've already got them, so probably just a bit confused by that. Um, okay, we won't worry about that then. We up keep cost for all units would be good. Movement cost, camera movement range, all armies. All punishment would be nice because I want the extra food upkeep. We can't really afford it right now. Um, but I don't think we've got anything else for more food really through any of our research. We go through industry. I think let's go through this. Go all the way up towards military careers, upkeep costs for all units, give us more money to spend on bits and pieces. Royal bodyguard, royal followers, we've just unlocked the cavalry upgrade though. My warriors That's not for you guys, I don't know if I've actually got any of them. I think I've got, like, I've got one unit, I think it's actually in Riggan's Wrath actually. Royal cavalry. You can count on us. Nope. I had one. In this one, None it is. There we go. Raw horsemen to raw cavalry. So where are these guys? Away to war. They're gonna go for that port, aren't they? Our every foe shall fall. No. We'll Let's move well. here then, because then I can always sail on round. But we don't want to get caught out in the sea. Probably should still hold at Edinburgh. I know they're gonna take a lot of territory. We've got to wait for them to come to us where we're strongest, where we can actually defend properly. Force them back. So these territories over here should be safe, so let's get them all upgraded. Reducing as much food as possible. These ones will probably be under threat once the uh, Norsemen arrive. Storehouse food production, port building. I think we can change that out for the garrison. Probably won't do a huge amount. Three more turns till that comes. I think the Norse are going to come next turn, though. upgrading that because I don't think do anything. I want to hold on to this one as much as possible. Hold there. You guys are going to move on out. And it's going to be safer waiting in the walls. We're going to get more kills ultimately even if they bring up another 20 oh god, 19 stack. Well, it'll be a big old battle. Be probably laggy, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Right, let's just check because I'm confused about Mercia. Mercia's at war with the Danelaw. Right, now I am no more, no longer confused. The Normans haven't declared war on us, so yeah, we'll leave. They've started taking... Actually, they've taken Wareham, I think. 
of it. Yeah. So it'll be up to Sooth Saxa, uh, Devon, Anglo Saxons, East Saxa, Kent to try and force them back. Hoping that Gwyneth is kept busy by the Anglo Saxons, but also that could keep them busy and not focused on defending themselves from uh, Normans. Not great any of these because they all hit food production right now. Uh, we can't really afford that. We, we can pop up and in there. In fact, we'll probably lose territory. So, you know, let's enact that. 246 now. An army supplied. So for 10 turns, plus 25% unit replenishment, plus 5 supplies, and minus 2 unit food upkeep. Which is good. Give us that money. End the turn. It feels very Game of Thronesy. This. Oh, and they're coming in to attack us. Damn! It looks overpowering. Oh, there's so many javelins. Right, well, we better fight this one. What's the terrain look like? Okay. Yeah, it does feel very Game of Thronesy right now with the, uh, you know, the, the, the almost the petty wars of the of the kings of the realm when the true threat lies to the north and the Normans in the south. the Norse and Danes in the north. True. True threat to the realm. Take out the mounted kerns quickly. We can work on wiping out their javelins. We don't have any archers. We do have a general over here, but I'm going to swing all my cavalry up here to chase those guys away and then hit the Gavs. We do actually have the settlement where we can probably minimize their numbers a little bit. So yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's pull back into it. Force them to wiggle their way through the streets towards us. And we can unleash Yuri. If they're my only chance of swords, we won't put them that far out then. We'll have them here. Archers! Bowman! Flank on round once they move in. Set for war! All these guys here, because I'm going to try and ambush that general. They're attacking us, so they have to attack. They have to move on in. Send yourselves to me. Until they're engaged and then fly out with the cavalry. Stand your ground. Moving on here, that's fine. It leaves this section free for these axes to flank. For the most part, they've all engaged, so let's fly on up here with the cavalry. In. Now. 
Horsemen! Annihilate them! Horsemen! Overrun them! Cavalry! Attack! Slaughter them! General, then we move on all their missile troops at the back with the cavalry first. The enemy general is dead. Good. Break the rest of him. Oh, the line spears. Cavalry to the rear. Get them. Annihilate them. Get them. Oh, Ollie. To battle. The enemies beware. Axman. Cavalry. I can see trouble ahead. Swordsman. Break them into the next group. Actually reacting with spears is relatively smart. Pull back a bit. Spears. Obliterated over here. The heart has gone out of our men. They refuse to fight on. Go, go, go. Our men have rallied. Flaming shot away. Back to regular now, the cavalry's there.
Horseman! Gia! Horseman! Kick your steeds! Ha ha! They're running off! Found the earth! They're all dead. A few of them over here. There we go. Lovely. Slaughter them all. Excellent. Decisive victory. And that will do. 777. Loads of kills with the axes. Good. Good. Watch is getting plenty of kills too. Did the cav. Well fought, men. Take the replenishment, please. They have two units left. We can sally on out and smash that force then and even move on the rest of their territory. Well, they are moving back up with those forces, so we'll need to be careful. We have to pull back. To the walls of Eilich, we will. Uh, okay, and that's my chance of selling out gone. Oh, good God. 320 stack forces. Ow. Okay, they moved in there and mustered up a butt ton more. Oh, goody. Danes are on the march. Smashing into our food surplus. Again, thanks to that edict, we're all good right now. Ah, you guys are going to actually sail on and attack me here. Yeah. I... We've got a lot of missile troops here. I feel like we can shred you. But I'll let you guys decide. Do we all resolve it or fight it and shred them with our missile superiority at the start of the next episode? Let me know down in the comment section. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in John the Legion. Check out my affiliate sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.